Hello guys, I'm Azhar and in this video, I will teach you how to read digital inputs using the GPI opens of Raspberry Pi. And after reading digital inputs, we will control an output which will be an LED using that input. So this is the second tutorial of our Raspberry Pi GPIO programming course. And this course, you will learn how to make your own IoT and robotics projects using Raspberry Pi. So if you don't want to miss any video of this course, don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever I upload a new video. So uh, for this video, we will uh, need uh, Raspberry Pi 3 uh, push button. And for controlling uh, LED, we'll need an LED, some resistors of 1 ohm, uh, sorry 100 ohm, and some jumper wires. Right, so first we will read the digital input and so first we will read the digital input and we will uh, see on the terminal window how the input is right so let's learn how will it work so here we have a push button it has four pins two pins are here and two pins are here right these pins are not connected right these pins are connected like this they are connected in this way and this way it means that this pin and this pin is connected and this pin and this pin is connected these two are not connected and these two are not connected right when the button is pressed a connection is made between these two pins right so current flows to the button right so what will we do we will uh, supply 3.3 volts to one pin of our push button using a resistor of 100 ohm right and the other pin of this push button will be connected to a gpio pin which will read the uh, input uh, sorry it will be input for raspberry pi uh, so it will read the signal from the push button here at this pin whether it is high uh, 5 volt or 3.3 uh, volts or it is low 0 volts right so uh, first we will uh, connect a resistor here to one pin of the push button right i have connected it to the first button right and then we will connect this resistor to a 3.3 volt pin of raspberry pi here as you can see the first pin is the 3.3 volt pin right now we will connect the second pin of this push button to a gpio pin right so the gpio pin will read the signal from this push button so it will be uh, bcm 17 so here this is a bcm 17 right so now our uh, connections are done let's move into our code so here in the code we have imported the rpi.gpio library as uh, gpio then we have imported the time module after this we have set the pen numbering to gpio.bcm i have shown in the last video uh, what does it mean if you are using gpio.board so you will uncomment uh, this line right then we have uh, variable button in which uh, is initialized with 17 it means that our gpio for uh, reading the input of button will be pin number 17 right then we have the gpio.setup button n and it is set as the input pin of uh, raspberry pi right so what will you do it will not uh, give us output but it will read the input right and this is pull down uh, pull up down is equal to uh, gpio.pud underscore down it means that the initial value of this pin will be zero right then we have a while loop and and while loop what will uh, we do we will print the value of our input right so if it is one it will print one if it is zero it will print zero if it is high means that it is 3.3 volts or uh, 5 volts then it will print one right and if it is zero volts or less than three volts it will print zero right so here this is the code 
and after this uh, we have uh, given a delay of one second so that we do not get too many values we get a value after uh, interval of one second so uh, let's run this So here you can see the output is 0, 0, 0, right? Now if I press the push button here, it's pressed and here you can see the output is 1, 1, 1, 1, 1. If I, right, if I again push this button, the output is 1, 1, 1, 1, right? So uh, in this way we can read. Uh, digital input uh, of uh, any kind for example it may be uh, input from a push button or it can be an input from our uh, uh, mobile phone if we are doing a IoT project so uh, the mobile phone will send a signal of one so we can read it in this way right so now what will we do we will uh, control an LED using the input of our push button right so here uh, we will connect an LED. This is the LED here. Uh, the positive pin will be connected to a resistor and negative to the ground. So here I will connect it like this. Right, positive is to the left and the ground is to the right. Right. So here I am using a resistor of 100 ohm. right and what will we do we will connect the, the positive pin of the led to pin 27th uh, which will be the bcm 27 pin of raspberry pi right so here we have jumper wire and we will connect it to BCM27 which is also a GPIO27 here it is written GPIO27 so I will connect it here right and we will connect the ground of our LED to the ground so here this pin is the ground right so now our connections are done this is a simple circuit which will control the LED by pressing the push button, right? So the LED will be controlled using the push button, right? So let's see the code now. So here this is the code. I have imported the rpi.gpio module as GPIO and I have set the pin numbering to BCM and then I have uh, two variables. One is LED out which is initialized with 27 and the other is a uh, button N which is initialized with 17 right so uh, after this i have set the led out pin to work as out so it will be an output pin it will not get the input but it will give us an output right and then i have set the button end pin as uh, input pin uh, as in the previous code i have done and after this i have the while loop uh, it, it will run forever until we stop running the code right so here after this uh, we have the condition yeah. f gpio dot input button n what will this statement do this statement will read the input of the button n pin right and it will check using this uh, f statement f the input is one right means that the input is high the button is pressed right so what will it do it will turn on the led out pin which is the 27 uh, BCM 27 pin right so it will turn the 27th pin high means that it will give a 5 volt signal or 3.3 volt signal to the 5 uh, so the LED out pin so our LED will turn on right and it will print on the console uh, LED on right if this statement is not satisfied the GPIO dot input button 1 means that the uh, input of button one, n pin is not one is zero right and digital electronics we have two uh, possibilities either one or zero right so if it, it is one it will turn the led on 
but if it is not one it is something else which uh, will be zero so what will it do it will turn the led off it will turn the pin 27 off right and uh, it will print on the console id off so now let's run this code so here on the console you can see led off led off led off and here you are also seeing that led is off now if i press this push button so you can see here the led is on right and in the console you can also see led on right so here let's try again you can see led off you can see led on so by pressing the push button you can turn on and off the led so in this way you can uh, read inputs and you can control an output which might be an actuator an led or any other thing right so uh, basically we get input from sensors and we control or we give output to actuators so this was the video i hope that you will have liked this and i hope you will have learned how to read inputs using the gpi openings of raspberry pi so if you don't want to miss any video of this course and you want to learn how to build your own robotics and the uh, iot projects so don't forget to subscribe my channel and press the bell icon so that you get notified whenever i upload a new video also share it with your friends and families so many and many people can learn raspberry pi thank you